Hey, it's Fan Fantasy again, and I cover tactical and immersive games like Gun APC, and we got an update for April, and we got an April Fool's update. This update mainly focuses on some improvements and fixes, as well as our annual April Fool's content, which I'll talk about in a bit. But to give you a quick highlight, the update brings some improvements to the after action review by making it easier to see and to read. Heat rounds are more noticeable and easier to tell by the different sizes and colors, and heat and high explosives detonations are now mentioned in the shot log. They have also reworked the M60A1 and the A3 armor models to fix some issues and some glitches. The M901 ITV is now less resistant to crew panic and missile unit damage. You may have noticed they've been a little bit too strong at times if you have hit them at least once, but that might be my own experience. they have also optimized the AI vision checks. AI gunners will now least likely to blind fire after a given time once a target moves into consumement. So for the enemy, they'll probably save their round until you show up again. Night fighting for the pack has slightly been improved with increased clarity in night sights. Soviet loaders on the T-62 will announce the round loaded. They also fixed an issue where some shots would cause a crash. There are other various fixes like the BMP-2 having no traversing sound and some other technical and detailed issues. Overall, you can expect some various improvements to the gameplay and I do believe the next few updates will probably focus on some improvements for adding new content. And speaking of the April Fool's update, we finally have the West Germans in Gunner Heat PC, well, kind of, introducing the M47 Patton tank which was used by the West Germans before the Leopard 1. The M47 Patton tank was introduced in the 1950s and it used the 19mm gun, and it crewed 5, the commander, gunner, loader, driver, and the assistant driver. Initially, the M47 wasn't really announced for Gun Heat PC, but this is definitely an April Fool surprise for all of us. I believe last year we were introduced to the BMP2, and then later it was put away. So this is probably a teaser for the West Germans, but who knows. We also have a new tank for the pack, but we'll talk about that in a later video, so stay tuned for that. So for Gunner Heat PC and the missions here, we're going to go back in time and face off against the West Sherman's M47s using similar counterparts from the pack around that era in time. Before we go into the gameplay, make sure to hit that like if you enjoyed this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content. So we're going to be playing the mission called Retro Rumble Part 1 of 2 and our main objective is to take Objective 1 and then Part 2 will be taking 2 and 3. So in terms of the enemy strength, it is unknown, but we do know that they are M47s of the West Germans. And we're going to be playing as the PT-76B, and then we have reinforcements of 18 tanks, and those are going to be the T-34s. So do expect some uh, bloodbath. I'm not too sure if we'll survive in one tank, and thankfully we're going to be having a lot more tanks, 18 times tanks to support us. And we do have fire support as well, including smoke, two batteries of artillery, and cast. And so we're going to be calling them in as we move further into the objective. Alright, so let's move out with our beat. Oh, what the? Oh, okay, they, they just disappeared. It looks like we have a, a ghost army behind us. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be rolling out with the PP-76. And let's range your gun to about 1,000 meters since we're going to have to rely on the map or do some guessing game a little bit. And since we are a light tank, our role is going to be reconnaissance, so we're going to be trying to see if we can spot targets and then allow our main forces to engage. Uh, but we'll probably engage some targets before we go down anyways. And let's call in some preemptive artillery on certain positions, so right here in the town, as well as fixed wing support. And we'll call in smoke a bit later once we are about to attack. Scanning. Oh, there's something over there to our left. That's the first M47. Bought it. And let's load up heat next. And fire now. Target. Let's get a heat up. Oh, crap. Okay, we. That's not good. Okay, let's switch to our second PT 76. And get heat next up. And firing out. Target. Oh goodness, I don't think we're gonna. We may not survive this, but we'll see what we get. And target. Alright, let's more. Hit. And looks like target destroyed. Yep. Heat rounds are 
definitely effective here. So what we'll do now is we'll move into the tree line up here and we'll recon all the way here till we see objective one. It's moving right now. Oh yeah, I heard a cast getting something. So right now we're gonna try our best to navigate through these trees and this tree line right here just to get a better situational awareness of what's going on around the objective. And yep, we're between the roads. So far it's clear. Okay, so we are approaching. And now I do want to get a good view of around the objective. Not just at the objective, but also near. I'm looking at the objective right now. And there's a tank. Oh goodness, there's a tank right there. I don't know if he sees. I think he may see us. Yep, they are. He sees us. Oh, that's really sucks. What else we got? Oh yeah, so there are tanks spotted on this hill. So what we'll do is we'll call in smoke on that area there, and we'll take control of second platoon. Okay, so right now we're taking control of the T-34, and we're gonna move up to attack the objective. And that didn't sound too good from behind. There's a tank right there to our front. Okay, yep, nope, that's not good. He got stuck right here, so let's see if we can engage against that tank. About 600 meters and firing. Alright, so we're gonna have to keep moving. We're not gonna retreat, we're not gonna fall back. And looks like that tank is destroyed. And I think we're the only one. Are we the only one left? Yes, we are the only one left, unfortunately. So we're the only tank on second platoon. So we'll keep moving up. And we'll call in fixed wing support. The objective. And our smoke should be obscuring over there, so we're gonna keep moving quick and fast. And yeah, these are World War II era tanks, guys, so I'm not going to expect too much from the T-34s against some post-war, post-World War II tank. And let's range about 600 meters. And uh, yep, I do see our first tank on the objective. Looking at us and target. You target to our left on and fire. Okay, we took a hit. Not good. And I think it's the fire. Yep. Nope, we cannot fire anymore. Engines are destroyed. So let's switch over to third platoon. And let's move third platoon up. We do have a functional platoon movement. So let's go. Calling in smoke on the hill right there. And I do see our closer support. Oh yeah, I hit something over there. So that's the tank that killed us earlier on, and let's go for him. Let's range down, firing, and target. Let's do 600. Yep, firing now. Oh, looks like one of our tanks got destroyed. Oh, it is two of our tanks destroyed. Our platoon is destroyed. Oh man, that really sucks. All right, third platoon. Let's move you guys out. So what we're going to do now with 3rd Platoon is we're going to move north through this area right here and then we're going to take Objective 1 and maybe the hill as well too. So let's move out north this time. I'm going to flank. Yeah, lots of destruction right there. You can see a lot of burning tanks. Not surprising, this is a, a bloodbath battle for us. So we'll keep calling artillery on the objectives as well as the hill up there. 
and we don't have any more fixed wing support. And let's move in a line as we're up to attack. And it looks like there's a tank spotted there. Yep, I see him. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop. Do about 800 and fire now. Oh, target destroyed. Nice, I think one of our tanks behind us got the kill right there. Let's see. Dude, oh, yep, yeah, there's a tank right there. Not sure if we can get him. Yeah, I don't think we can get him. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, that... That M47 took out one of our tanks in the platoon, so we'll keep moving up. Yeah, we're gonna have to crest this hill up here. Which is not really a good idea in certain situations, so... Let's see if we can get a good pre-fire on that area. So it looks like one of our platoons are engaging tanks on that hill. Oh my goodness, the unstabilized gun. There he is. And yeah, it's fire. Target. They will kind of hold down. And firing out. Yep, and it's even a little higher to turn it more. Oh my goodness! Oh, he hit us. Alright. We're gonna have to take control of this tank. Alright, and fire. Oh gosh, she's firing at us right now. Alright, new target. So that target is destroyed. And now let's go for the ones on the hill. Okay, so we have another reinforce tank coming up. And let's see if we can get a close shot on the, those tanks on the hill while our other platoon is occupying their attention right now. So, so we're getting a little closer now. And it looks like one of the M47s might be destroyed. Let's see. Slowly move up here because our gun is unstabilized. Where is he? Oh, there he is. And fire. Target. Oh my goodness. Ah, he took us out. Let's see how these guys are doing. Ooh, okay. And fire. Looks like the tank on the left might be destroyed. So let's go for the one on the right. And fire. Target. Yep. Oh, that hit us, but we're okay. And firing in. Jeez, this is... This is tough. Yeah, you can't move and shoot, so we're gonna have to stay still and try our best to fire as much as we can. Don't think our rounds are penning through it. I say we keep moving up. Yep. Tell us to shoot the tank on the left. No commander override, so yeah, I guess he's telling us to come on the left. Hey, fire once more. And it's I think that tank might be might be killed, yeah. So we'll keep going. I was our other tank doing? Okay, he's not doing too well. Okay, we'll keep moving. Yeah, there's something to... 
Looks like there's a tank moving up just below the hill right there. I'm gonna see if we can go to our objective front now and blank them from behind. That'd be really cool if we can do that. But let's see if we can clear the objective first. Oh, there's a tank right there. And let's see if we can get a good back juicy shot right there. And fire. And target. And yep, target destroyed. And there it is. They're right there. Oh my goodness. Let's uh let's see if we can flank them. Alright, let's see if we can get a kill right here. And firing. And reverse back to reload. Hopefully they don't pin through this house. And can't get. Oh, we missed. Let's see if we can call in a mortar on that area or artillery. Oh, we're taking the objective. And that one's retreating. Let's see if we can get the kill. Nice, target destroyed. That was a good finish. Wow, so there was a platoon of tanks right there, and we managed to capture the objective, and so... Whew! That was a... That was a tough fight. So at the end of the day, this was a bloodbath with our T-34 tanks. A whole bunch of them did not make it. Looking at our after action review and oh my goodness look at how much crew we lost 32 and 13 equipment lost this is probably my first time seeing the mission results where I have more loss than a victory but not surprising though because the M47 does have a little bit of an edge over the T-34 tanks like I said this is the first time seeing it where it's tipped on their end and not mine but definitely a very interesting mission overall so then with this tank, we finished it off with the heat round. I felt like the PT-76 heat rounds are a lot more effective in taking out the M47s easily. And then we switched over to the T-34s. And yeah, they were, this one was done in one hit. With a single T-34, we were attacking the objective. And yes, there were units on the hill right there to our right. We hit the M47. I don't think it did too much. And then we switched over to the second target. And so we moved one of our platoons up and we were engaging the M47s and uh, the first round didn't do too much here. The second one did not do a lot either. And one by one, our platoon was taken out by the M47s. So right here, we spotted more tanks on the objective facing towards the, I believe the east. Did hit one of the tanks right here. Ooh, I think it damaged the gun as well as the crew inside. And then with one hit, it destroyed us. And then we took over this platoon right here as they were engaging. Man, it took a lot of hits. I'm, I'm curious to know what happened here. So it looks like our rounds just hit the frontal arc and didn't do too much. But yeah, we took a, quite a few rounds from the M47. Thankfully, they were only using HE rounds and our tank was able to stop them right here. Didn't go through at all. Just if anything shook our crew. Oh yeah, so as we were moving up towards town, we saw this juicy back right here of this M47 that didn't see us, and uh, yeah, we took him out one hit. So it seems like the T-34s did a really good job in just stopping them right here. And then from there, I moved up here to engage the few remaining M47s. This one hit, and yeah, it didn't do too much. I don't think it hit them too much. And they try to hit us through this building right here, but uh, not too much going on here. And then from this point on, we captured the objective and then we killed off the last retreating tank right here. Ended up with the bang. So overall, this mission was more of a T-34 rush. If we didn't have a lot of T-34s, I don't think we would survive this mission. But hey, we managed to capture it and we will we'll fight the next day. At the end of the day, this was a bloodbath battle and uh yeah this is quite an april fool's mission so i wouldn't take it too seriously but hey it's nice seeing the t-34 again they did it two years ago with their april fool's content update so it's kind of nice to be playing these again 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe for more. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Part 2 is coming up next.